Okay, so I was going to make chicken stew. I just finished chopping up, whoops, I just finished chopping up. This is one of five different kinds, apparently, of South American sweet potato that they have down here. Here's the peeling uh, that you can see over here in the bag um, that I cut off of there, just with a knife. I didn't even get the... the 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 um, shredder or whatever you want to call it to uh, take the skin off. I just used my knife, but this I just wanted to show the consistency of it. I've rinsed this twice already, and I, I forget the name of this particular sweet potato from South America, but it's it's I've rinsed it twice already, and it's still kind of I don't even know you can see that. See how there's like a it's still really slimy. Um, now, it don't taste like nothing now, so I'm, I'm hoping that when I make this chicken stew, and this is just two sweet potatoes here, okay, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, uh, instead of, uh, breasts, I'll use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Other than that, it's your basic chicken stew, okay? So I just wanted to show this part at the beginning because I've never used South American sweet potatoes before, and they're white for one thing. We're used to sweet potatoes or yams that are yellow or orange uh, in this country, and over there, apparently, a lot of them are white um, but still sweet. So I don't know. I just I wanted to show that first. I... I Okay, so now I'm um, just kind of searing my chicken, you know, before I uh, put it all in the crock pot, you know, to kind of do its thing for about 12 hours. Just like to give it a nice little coating. I rinsed my chicken real quick, and then I put garlic salt and uh, pepper on that one side, and now I'll... Uh, I don't want to do it too much. I just, just want to do it just enough to give it some flavor. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I'll uh, put a little more pepper on this side. And I'll put regular salt instead of garlic salt. And uh, like that. And then in the pan I had oil, regular olive oil. And... Uh, there's the olive oil and a little, just a little butter for a little more flavor. And uh, I'm going to get my salt here. Put that on there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, just, it looks like a lot, but it really ain't that much. I'm not a big salt person anyway. So, uh, it looks like a lot, but it's, it's not that bad. Um, and then I'll let that cook. I'll take the chicken out when I when I feel it's cooked just enough. I'm gonna leave it a little pink in the middle still because it's got a 12 hours in the cook in the crock pot to go still. And then uh, I'm gonna put it in there whole. And then right about the last half hour of cooking, I'm gonna start shredding it. You know what I'm saying? And, and then just have it all nice and shredded in there. But I'm gonna take that chicken out once it gets a nice little coating in that pan, and use that to uh, sear the uh, vegetables and. Uh, and then I'll put all, all that in the uh, crock pot. Okay, so my chicken's done to my satisfaction. I don't know if you can even see that or not, but it's got just a nice little light crust on it. And you can see the crust that's in the pan. So I'm going to add, uh, first of all, those South American potatoes to that, okay? I want that to get a lot of that flavor. Kind of greasy. Slimy and not greasy, but slimy. Crazy. Alright. I had this onion from, from something else that I made, so made some enchiladas, so this is the onion I had left over, so I'll use that in here too. It's kind of too small for the stew to you know, you want a nice little bite-sized pieces for the enchiladas, but, uh... Alright, this is kind of a big-ass pan I got here. 
not your average size pan, so. But I just want to get some of that, just just sear just enough, you know, not not trying to. I'm gonna put a little, not not too crazy, just a little garlic salt on there. I don't want to get too crazy. Kind of like I say, it's kind of a big ass pan. Got this on high heat. I'm not trying to. I just want to kind of get a nice little glaze on it or something. You know what do you call it? It's it's just about there actually. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Yeah, I don't get too crazy with it. I just want to. Just get it a nice little coating from that pan on there. And I got this bowl on standby here. Let's throw all that in there. Okay. Now, whoop. I think I got a little, uh, whoop. That's a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, anyway, but there we go. I, like I said, I got a few russets in there, and I'm going to throw these carrots. Got a lot of veggies going in this one. I got those carrots. I like those little baby carrots. They're kind of sweet and stuff, you know. So, throw those in that pan too and get some of that flavor from that chicken. So, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to put a little more garlic salt, just a little bit on this, some pepper. Get that seared up in this pan too. Get some of that flavor from that chicken. And then put it all in the crock pot. Okay, so now I got my vegetables that I kind of seared up from the chicken in that pan. You know what I'm saying? To get the flavor. And then I added some seasonings to that. Uh, put that in there. Now I mixed up the rest of the other half of the vegetables with the sweet potatoes. The, uh, I put half of the sweet potatoes that I had, those South American sweet potatoes, in the very bottom. And now I've got the rest that I mixed with the vegetables that I fried and this other chicken. So I'm gonna put the rest of this chicken in here, okay? I'm gonna put that chicken in there. Just kind of whole like that. And I'm gonna even put that juice in there, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna lose any flavor, okay? And then, uh, <clears throat> then I'm gonna put as much as these uh, vegetables as I can. I might have overdone it, I don't know, we'll see. Looks like it might be just right. Usually I have it just right. Yeah. Sometimes it looks like it's going to be too much and then it ends up just right. So, there we go. Okay? So that's just right. Alright, so. And then I got just your regular chicken broth. You know what I'm saying? It's just plain old vanilla uh, chicken broth. You know what I'm saying? That you can get from any Joe Schmo grocery store, okay? Pour that whole container in there, all right? And that'll pretty much be it. Add a little more seasoning if you want, you know, I don't know, whatever kind of seasoning you want. You know, it's all to taste, right? Um, this should be good, I think, as far as, I might add just a little water. Yeah, I might have to add a little water. I've got some water on standby here, and this is from one of the containers that I had the uh, veggies in. So that's that's still got flavor in it. You know what I'm saying? So I'll add that water. Yeah, see that's just enough. I'd rather add a little less than too much because the the veggies will cook down, and that'll add more uh, moisture to this. So <clears throat> I can always add more water. But man, when there's too much, there's just too much. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that'll be that. And 12 hours later, we'll have some stew. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Uh, about 10 and a half hours later. And this is the uh, finished product here. You can see the, the chicken. I just lowered the crock pot down to just kind of keep it warm. It was bubbling here like crazy. I did add some more water. I added the tomatoes uh, about an hour ago. 
So I wanted some like stewed tomato in there, kind of gave it a little more color. But uh, there's those big sweet potatoes. I'm putting some in a bowl here. I'm kind of interested to try those. Let's see what they taste like. Um, oh no, that's not the sweet potato because I left the skin on the on the russets. Let me find one. So the, ah, there's one. Yeah, because it doesn't have the skin on it. The russets I left the skin on. So they do look a little different. So you can see the the russet right here, and then this is that sweet potato. Super tender, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it just tastes like a potato. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it just tastes like a potato, really. <clears throat> no different. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. That's my uh, chicken stew.